much of a massive fan I am of this Cerakote. So, I'm going to do my testers now. I've got uh, a little bracket that I made up for the K11 uh, for the rear fender that wasn't quite right, so I made another one. So I've just given that a sandblast. I'm thinking I'm going to hit it again with the Tequila Sunrise. Um, this time, I'll hit one side with the Tequila Sunrise, other side I'll hit, then I'll give it a flash bake for 15 minutes, which is what you do for um, when you're doing stenciling and stuff over the top of these. And then I'm going to hit it with the Matte Armor Clear that I've uh, also purchased. Um, that is this baby here. So it says again that it's a, a low, low sort of gloss to it, uh, which you can adjust through the amount of uh, catalyst that you put into it. Um, so I might try and make it a little bit glossier and just see how this pops with that. So I'll do one side with the, the clear, the other side I'll just leave straight um, to kill a sunrise. I'll give that its cure, then I'll get it out, and then we shall hit it with some petrol, acetone, brake fluid, and a hammer. Let's see what it's like with tooling. Um, I did have a bolt that I hung the top triple with, this little baby. Um, that I never actually blasted. Uh, never, never really gave it any treatment, no acetone. Didn't really spray it, it's just really cop some overspray. Uh, hitting it on top pretty hard with the pliers didn't really do too much, but when I hit the sides of it, it, it chipped, which is completely understandable. Um, yeah, so it's not really a test, that one. It's um, a byproduct. But this one I'll definitely give a good test to. Like, I'm not too concerned with hitting it or anything, but if this stuff really does repel brake fluid, fuel, um, and even acetone, well, Another big tip, so let's see how we go. I'll, um, I've given this its full sandblast, we'll give it its dip for the next 30 minutes, and uh, yeah, I'll report back. We're ready to go. So, a couple of other things I am going to try uh, while I'm doing this. First, one I found with this whole process is probably the worst part is cleaning this bloody beaker out. So, I've raided the old spice rack while the wife was looking the other way. Um, got a nice little glass spice jar. So that's gonna be nice and small because um, for this, I'm only gonna be mixing up probably, uh, probably nine mil worth of Cerakote. Um, I'm gonna, instead of going the 24 to one, which I did on this baby here, the matte finish, I'll do one side this time in the semi-gloss, which is 12 to one. Um, just to see the difference, I can put it up against this part here and just see the, the sheen differences. And also once I go the armor, I shall do that in, I might do that in the satin, which is an 18 to one, and just see what all the different sheen levels are as well. Uh, I might be able to compare it. But this little sucker here, um, It'll be a lot easier to clean out than that big beast. So I'm gonna start mixing up now, and I'll get a, I'll get the first um, coat on this, and then flash for 15 minutes, and then get the clear on. So I'm not sure I'll record again. I'll get this camera out of here, but um, I might just do the uh, finished product at the end. So here she is after the first flush bake. So I've done both sides, it's just had the quick flush, so you can't really see any metallics too much now. That must be in the, uh, the curing side. So I shall coat the back side of this now. I've got the gun set up with the matte armor clear, and then we'll bake it out for We'll do the quick one, uh, one hour at 150 degrees Celsius, and then we'll compare. Here we have it, guys. Yeah, it's come out pretty much the same as last time. Looks bloody awesome again, good metallics. This is the side that I put the clear on. Um, 
I don't know if I can tell too much difference. It's, well, it does have a bit more of a sheen on it. I think I actually prefer... Yeah, it does. So it's got a, a bit more of a sort of glossy sheen over it, but I think I still prefer the more matte look. So, at least I've um, settled that for myself because I was curious as to see what it would be like. Yeah, it's definitely a, a more satiny sort of look on this side. So I'll um, I'll get some petrol and some acetone onto this thing now. All right, welcome to Doctor Doom's panel and paint shop. So this is virtually uh, just come out of the oven, looking all pretty. You can definitely see the um, the clear coat difference on that one, but not a fan. They don't, they tell you, they recommend not to do it anyway, but that looks so much nicer. So we have the petrol that's just itching to go. It's uh, already dripping out. We got some dot four brake fluid. We got some acetone, and we have some priming fluid for conduits which is, I thought is the same as acetone, but it's called methyl ethyl ketone, whatever the hell that is, but we'll give it a shot. Um, so I might start up with maybe the petrol test first. We'll get a bit of petrol on this thing, just a little bit. Give it a little bit of time to soak in. That would have been enough for my Duplicolor engine enamel, but uh, We'll give it a bit of a soak. It's sitting on there a bit. We'll give it a wipe. Yeah, a little bit, but it's mainly just the overspray part of it, I would think. Yeah, a little bit of colour there, but nothing to the actual finish. Um, try a bit of acetone on it. I'll get a new rag so we can tell. Get a good rub in, as you do. Pretty much. It looks pretty unaffected, really. Probably cleaned it up a little bit. There's a little bit of orange there, you can see. But still, the paint actually looks exactly the same. Doesn't seem to have made the uh, any changes in the, the finish to it. Um, this priming fluid. Yeah, that stuff's high. No, nothing. So you get a little bit of color on the rag, but still absolutely no change to the, the coat itself. It still looks exactly the same. So it's looking the goods. A little bit of brake fluid. We'll let this one uh, just sit on there for a minute. Let that have a little rest. Get a new rag out. So it looks like to me, that was the petrol, but that was the first go. So I'm gonna hit it with the petrol again in a sec. Cause it might just have that top layer to it. And it'll clean the brake fluid off anyway. Yeah, nothing on the brake fluid at all. No, didn't even bother it. So I'm pretty sure Right, that's the acetone, that's the petrol. 
Let's clean this brake fluid off. Just using a 95 Ron petrol here. Does a nice job of cleaning brake fluid by the look of it. A little bit of dirt, a little bit of haze. But again, the actual finish does not seem to have faulted at all. It still looks exactly the same. Pretty good, really. And this is the side with the clear on it. I mean, you're never going to be scrubbing it like this, but... Looking good. I'll let it sit there for a sec. Actually looks better with the fuel on it. You can see the metallic nice. Once again, as I said, that would have been it for some of the other finishes that I've tried it would have been game over so still looking bloody awesome yep pretty happy with that i reckon that lives up to its its name um let's see if i can get maybe a hammer Hammer's always a good thing. Oh, that's the dirt off the hammer. So no marks from hitting it. Um, it's pretty dirty, so I don't know if that's really going to show you properly. What have we got here? Sideys. Call that pretty tough. You can actually see, I don't know if you can pick that up, you can see the dents in the aluminium. <laughs> so the aluminium has actually dented, but it's dented the actual finish in. I'll try and get a close up of that. So the paint is still. Now well, the Cerakote is still in the dent. It hasn't chipped or anything. I reckon we're calling this pretty confirmed that it's, it's as strong as they say it is. Which makes me very happy to keep painting everything I can with this thing. That's pretty much it for now guys. I um, have to say I'm pretty bloody impressed. Apart from being deaf. Yeah, that's cooler. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.